we finally have a day that's warm enough I feel I can go deeper into the hives and see if we have any brood in them it's going to stay warm today and be warm again tomorrow so I don't need to worry as much about chilling the brood this is one of the resource hives so there's actually two colonies in this you'll be able to see that a little easier once I start pulling some frames out This side, I think, is pretty, pretty small as far as the number of bees. So you can see that the hive is divided in half down the middle. And what you're looking at right now is a quilt box full of sawdust for winter insulation. Right now, there are bees on in this space and in between these two frames, and that's it. That's pretty small. There should be more bees than that. But at least they're alive. Got a little bit of burr comb on this frame, it looks like. But not burr comb, cross comb. A little bit of capped honey, a little bit of nectar that crystallized. frame is mostly empty. And they've got some open nectar on this one and some pollen. There's the queen right there, right under the hive tool. So in this area, there's a little bit of larva. You can see it's kind of sporadic, not real consistent. Maybe that's just because it's so early in the spring. There is just a little bit of open brood in there. This is about as small as I've ever seen a hive that, that actually made it through winter. There are not a lot of bees in here. And there's almost no resources, so this definitely needs to be fed. I have had sugar bricks on top. We'll have to make sure I keep sugar bricks on it, and uh, at this point, I think I'll give them pollen patty and hope they hope they can make some use out of it. There is actually still sugar brick packed into the quilt box, so they do have access to it. <laughs> 